Hey everyone, I'm Yaxing. I'm part of Dial's marketing team in Taiwan. So we are going to do a video on ENS and IPFS. First, you want to search ENS app. Go to ENS app website. Connect to your crypto wallet. In this example, I'm using my MetaMask wallet. So you want to click connect. You want to see if a domain name you want is available. In this video, we are going to register RXC. Taipei dot ETH for the radical exchange Taipei group that CC Leon and I started in July this year in Taipei. For the radical exchange Taipei dot East, it's five dollars a year and you can renew it at any time. You want to click request to register. On clicking request to register, a MetaMask confirmation pop up will appear. Click Confirm. Wait a few minutes for the transaction to complete. Click register to move to the third step. So click register here. Right, and then again you want to click confirm. So confirm here. Wait for a few seconds for the transaction to complete you will see the notification in the upper right side of your browser. There, confirmed transaction. So you want to manage name, right? So you click manage name. If you scroll down a little bit, you can find resolver and you want to click set. A resolver is a smart contract. We need to set a default res resolver for a new domain name. You want to click Use Public Resolver. It will fill in the contract address of the public resolver automatically. Click Save. On clicking Save, another MetaMask confirmation pop up will appear. So you want to confirm. Again, seeing a notification in the upper right side of your browser. So, so far we have successfully registered a new ENS domain name, manage the name, and set the public resolver. If your transaction is already confirmed, but the public resolver is not showing, what you can do is reload the current web page. So that's what we're doing. Reload the web page and see how things have been working out. And so here you see records, right? So see the records here, and you want to click the plus button on the right. Then select a record. You can select multiple options in the drop down. So for this video, we are going to select content. So you select content and you want to fill in the required fields. It says enter a content hash here. So how can we do that? How can we get a content hash? This is where IPFS comes in. IPFS or interplanetary file system is a popular peer-to-peer -peer storage network when you add a file to IPFS, it is given a unique fingerprint, a cryptographic hash. When you search for a file, you are asking the network to find nodes storing the content behind the unique hash. So you need to prepare a static website. For this video, I prepared an index.html file for a simple website, displaying a brief introduction of radical exchange type A chapter. Mm -hmm. Here you want to add your file to IPFS. For those of you who are like me, like coming from a non-technical background, I suggest you to search IPFS desktop and just go ahead and install IPFS desktop. Simply drag and drop. It's probably the easiest way to get your IPFS up and going without worrying about things like, you know, like how to pull up a comment prompt, for example. So. Here you click 
open open in at the file and then you see this horizontal three dots more options icon you want to select copy hash copy hash right and so there so there you go back to your then you go back to your ENS app page right so go back to the page and enter IPFS column double slash and paste your content hash here so save and then confirm confirm transaction now you can check whether it works or not so hopefully it works so you can yeah what you can do is you can type https column double slash radical exchange type a dot eth dot link that's radical exchange type a dot eth dot link there so because it's you know it's a peer-to-peer -peer network that we are dealing with it may take a few minutes for the data to propagate through the network so what we can do here is we could um, go back to IPFS so yeah so we can go back to IPFS and just check very quickly how the peers are doing now so it looks like the peers are doing okay ah so there we go Voila! a simple beautiful website using ENS domain name in IPFS and this is the second ENS and IPFS website I did the first one I did was my personal website yashin.east.link there and um, the dial network is one of the most exciting blockchain projects in the space it's designed for IOT embedded devices if you are interested in the dial project visit our website at dial.io and check out our github at github.com slash dial chain 